kitchen and I have a delicious, wonderful, delicious meal that I want to share with you. It is my Jamaican salmon with this amazing, delicious coconut cream sauce with rice, cauliflower, spinach, and amazing wild mushrooms. Pero la prima cosa que debemos fare, the first thing that we need to, to do is to put on the fadale. And fadale in Italian means apron. And I have chosen a beautiful, colorful one because we are all beautiful and we are all very lovely. And I can't wait till I show you this amazing, delicious meal that I came up with um, one day. Uh, I love coconut. I love all this deliciousness. And this, I'm going to go over the ingredients with you so you know exactly what, going, what we're going to be utilizing. What I want to be utilizing for this amazing, and it could be for lunch, it could be for dinner. And right now here it's 11.30, so we're going to have some for lunch and then some for dinner. So it all starts with, I have four ounces of coconut cream that I have here. I also have about a good quarter cup of toasted uh, coconut that I have toasted myself. I just buy it and then I toast it. I also have about uh, one to two tablespoons of ghee. I may use that. I may not use. I may use depending on how much I'm going to be using. Because remember, we start we start with little and then we add more as we go. And then what I have here is I have a tablespoon of paprika. I have a zest of an entire lemon uh, lime. And I also have here a quarter cup of lime juice. You know, put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. Put the lime in the coconut. Okay, that's enough. Uh, well, we're exercising. It's good for our health. And then what I have here is I have a teaspoon of uh, chopped rosemary. I have one sliced shallot. I have a good two to three cups of wild mushrooms. And the mushrooms that I'm using are oyster mushrooms, lion mane mushrooms, and black pearl mushrooms that my sponsor, Dario Rodriguez, from Life and Food Superstores in Ellington, Florida, provided for me, and I'm going to utilize that. I also have this wonderful spinach, wonderful spinach. I have about two to three cups of spinach. It's my husband and I, so depending on the size of your family, you may need some more. And I also have in the freezer, which I'm going to get it in a minute, I have a bag of riced cauliflower. So we are going to start with the first thing first. I want to start my pan. I have a, a pan. Let me turn my, my phone over so you can see a little bit more on this side. There we go. Because I really want you to see what I'm doing. And I just have a regular pan like so. And to this pan, guys, what I want to do is I am going to take a teaspoon, a good heaping teaspoon, and I'm just going to add it into my pan. I have a, a non-stick pan. When you're using a non-stick pan, you do not have to use so much uh, butter or whatever you're using. In this case, this is going to work very lovely. I'm going to turn my, uh, my uh, temperature to medium. I'll, go be, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my rice cauliflower. That it should be right here in my freezer. I know I have it somewhere. Oh my goodness gracious. Things are always moving around here. Okay. What? Wow, 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 what? All right. So in my case, I am going to be utilizing cauliflower florets. If you don't have the rice flour, you can also use the rice flour uh, uh, florets. I really like using them because they're just more crunchier to me. They're just, I don't know, I just love using them. And, and what, also what I'm going to be using, the main spice to all of this, guys, is some Caribbean jerk seasoning. And I have here about four teaspoons I, you know, it depends on how much of this I'm going to use. We are live, and I want to say hello to all you beautiful people there. Hello, my beautiful friends. We are live. I don't have my glasses, so I cannot see. And then what I also have here is I have a tablespoon of mayonnaise. 
And then, of course, our main wonderful thing, it's all about the salmon. And salmon is rich in omega-3 fatty acid. And this is wonderful salmon that has been sustainably uh, uh, taken from the sea. And it came all the way from Alaska. Yes. And I keep them in paper towels because I want it to be nicey-nicey. And then what I want to do is put this to the side. I want to take my fish and I'm just going to flip it over like so because I have them nice and dry. Get that out of the way. And then what I want to do here is I want to take my wonderful mayonnaise. So this is melting. I'm going to get another spoon. So far so good. I'm just going to take a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm just going to rub a little bit of mayonnaise on them. I know, you're saying, what? Mayonnaise? Elena, where are you going with this? Trust me, wait till you have this dish. It's yummy, it's tasty, it's full of vitamins. Especially when you're using, you know, there are so many health benefits. So, and I just flip it over. Just flip it over with the same spoon. You know, why make more messes, right? Flip it over with a spoon. Very easy transaction. In the meantime, I see that I'm probably going to be needing another half a teaspoon of ghee half a teaspoon of ghee and then what I want to do here is I want to add my shallots going to go right in here that's what we're going to do the shallots are going to go right in there like so I'm also going to add my delicious mushrooms that are going to be right in there like that super easy transaction and I am not going to add anything else right now I just want these two guys, can you see that? I just want these two guys to just kind of hang out together, saying hello to each other. They all get along so well and so beautiful. Because you can do everything in this pan. Because once I'm done with the vegetables, I'm going to remove the vegetables. I'm going to put them in a bowl. I'm going to cover it, and then we're going to finish it with the fish. And wait till I show you how to plate it. And it's going to be yumminess all the way around. All right, so now that I have my coconut right here cream, I'm just going to move it out of the way. Now I'm going to come in with my beautiful spinach that I'm just going to put in here. As you can see, I have not done any seasoning to this. I have not done any salt to this. I haven't done anything to this. Put that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Boom, we're done with that. I'm just going to mix this, this. Again, you know, this has got a good heaping tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half of ghee. Oh, and you can already smell the aroma to this. You can already smell the aroma to this. It is amazing and delicious. Of course, amazing and delicious is my favorite words to say. Well, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. you know, I'm not going to apologize. That's how it is. Hey. All right, I'm gonna move these guys because this is gonna help me to flip my little fish over. Now I'm gonna continue as this is cooking to continue to, to be creative. And I'm doing my artwork. I just want my, and what mayonnaise does, guys, and I usually don't use a lot of mayonnaise, it keeps the fish nice and juicy. Yes, that is another trick from me that I teach you. So now I'm done with the mayonnaise, super easy, super fast. And then to this right here is I want to come back here and I just let, want to, you see what I'm doing? I'm just letting it rain, letting it rain these wonderful Caribbean seasonings for these wonderful little guys. All right, so this is almost done. It goes really fast. What's happening here is that spinach is doing its thing. Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to grab my knife because I wanted to show you that you can have other ways of doing this. And I'm just going to add as many or as much or all of it. And I am using a 16 ounce bag of organic cauliflower, florets. And you can do the rice as well, as, as well, you know, you can do that. And I'm just gonna mix it together. And as you can see, I have not added any salt to this. I have not, okay? So I'm just gonna mix all this deliciousness. There's a lot of health benefits to all of this, guys. There's a, health, a lot of Wonderful health benefits to all of this. Now I'm going to get my little cover cover here, right here, because I just want to mix this together. I have not seasoned anything yet. I have not seasoned anything. And now what I'm going to do now is this is doing its thing, because this is going to go quick. I'm going to 
get my temperature to go higher, okay? Because you know, when you're using fr frozen flour, it has its own water, so I'm not gonna do anything to it right now, but I'm just gonna take a pinch of the seasoning and I'm just going to just add it like so. It's going to have the flavor of all of it. And now I'm going to cover it just like that. It's going to be doing its own thing because it's creating, they're marrying all these wonderful juices together. It, you don't need a lot of salt. You don't need a lot of pepper. Now, pepper you could use, which I do have some over here, and I have grounded some black pepper with some red pepper flakes, and now to this, I am going to get on top of everything just a little pinch of the black pepper because there's a lot going on with the Caribbean seasoning. You know, Caribbean seasoning has its own personalities. And I'm just going to mix this. This is almost done. That is how quick it goes. I bring you easy peasy meals for your health. And there's so many health benefits, guys, to cauliflower, to mushrooms full of antioxidants, full of wonderful deliciousness. And not only is it delicious, but it's good for your health. For your health, I will do anything. And this is coming along very nice. Now what I want to do with this is I want to add another little teaspoon of the ghee. And what ghee does, it kind of gives it a nice buttery flavor. And I do want to use a little bit more. So all together, I might end up using my entire two tablespoons of ghee because we haven't done anything with the fish yet and wait till I show you what we're going to do with the fish oh my goodness gracious I can I cannot wait I can sleep all night because of this dish because I love this dish so much but then again I love every dish and I love food and food loves me and you know you can still eat very healthy and still be able to maintain your weight or lose weight and let me tell you something about uh, salmon. It's very high in protein. And it's very high in vitamin uh, B, which is needed. And you know, did you know that it's also high in potassium? Go figure that one out. You know what? You don't trust me. You don't believe me. Use your computers. Use Google. Ask Google. So now this is almost done. That is how quickly this comes together. That is how quick. Oh, you know, you can smell the, you can smell the aromas coming out. And what you're smelling is you're smelling the jerk seasoning. And now what I want to do is because, you know, we got a taste. We got a taste. Hey, 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 we got a taste. Mmm. Mmm. It is so yummy. It is so, so yummy. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add another little pinch of my Caribbean seasoning. Caribbean seasoning, you know, in its own right, it's got some cinnamon. It's got all kinds of delicious flavors. And I make my own. I make my own seasoning. And it has a lot of ingredients in it, and we do not have the time today. All right, so now my little fish, as you can see, my beautiful little guys, they have the little mayonnaise on them. They are really having a good time together. And now what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to get my spoon over here that I have before, and I'm gonna turn it over to the other side because I am going to season the other side. And I am, wait till I show you how I am going to cook this fish. I'm telling you girls, and boys, you are going to be the kings and the queens of your castle. Again, there comes the seasoning. You know, if you want a lot of seasoning, use a lot of seasoning. When I make mine, I make it a little spicy. I like a little spice. Yeah, spice is good for you. It gets your blood going. That's what my father would say. My father loved hot. He loved seasoning. My father, you know, my father and my mom, God bless their souls, and I know they're watching me from heaven. You know, they have so much information about food, and I am so glad to them. So when this is done, the sauce that I am going to be making is going to be with the remaining of the ghee. It's going to be, I have, like I said, uh, I have a, uh, 
uh, a teaspoon of grated lime uh, zest, a quarter cup of lime juice, and I'm going to finish it with my toasted coconut. So I'm going to move my to uh, toasted coconut out of the way. I have the teaspoon of uh, mm, rosemary, and then of course I have four ounces over here of coconut cream. This is what's going to make the whole entire thing. And of course, more, more Caribbean seasoning. Ah, claro que sí, claro que sí. Okay, claro que sí. Okay, what am I <laughs> Somebody says, what is claro que sí? Claro que sí means, but of course, that's what claro que sí means. In Spanish, not in Italian, eh? eh, eh, eh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make a show, you know? All right, so now, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. And what you're looking at is this beautifulness. You see this beautifulness? All right, so now I am gonna get my bowl over here because these guys are done. Because what's happening here is everybody is finished at the same time. My mushrooms that are full of antioxidants, my spinach that is so good, you know, Popeye the, Popeye, Popeye the sailor, man, woo, woo. You know, we always talked about spinach, which I tell you what, I tried spinach one time out of the can and eh, uh, I'm sorry, it did not taste very good to me in those days. All right, so all of this is done like that. Done like this, okay, put that back on there. I am going to go ahead and, and cover this so it stays nice and warm. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, so now I have a paper towel here. What I'm going to do is I am just going to clean my pan. Just clean my pan. I'm going to put that to the side over here. And now to the same pan, I am going to add my ghee. The rest of my ghee is going to go in here. I need that ghee to be in here. This is for the rest of my ghee. All right. So now after this ghee, guys, now what I want to do is I want to add my paprika to that to give that the wonderful flavor. Let me get that out of the way over here, just like so. You see what I'm doing? And I'm putting it right in the, right in the ghee in there. I'm also going to bring my zest of my lime that's going to go right in there. Put the lime and the coconut. Now I'm going to bring my um, wonderful, oh yeah, that is the lime juice. I'm going to lower my temperature here. There we are. Oh, and what you are looking at, you're looking at something delicious like that. We are continuing really quickly here to work with this. Now I'm going to add my coconut cream. It's going to go into that. I want to get everything on my coconut cream like so. And then what I want to do is I want to take the rest of my... Again, if you don't want it very spicy, you're not going to be using for teaspoons, but I like it spicy and I'm going to put it right all in there. Although my fish has got all of this in here and I'm just making this beautiful cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, my stars, it looks so good. And I'm going to come in here, guys, and I am going to add my teaspoon of rosemary. Teaspoon of rosemary, get my glasses out of the way. And now I'm just going to take my temperature a little higher and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in I'm going to grab another spoon because I want to taste oh. oh I'm telling you put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up it is shaking now I'm going to take my fish and I'm just going to put my fish and I am just going to put it right in there in that beautiful bath of that Beautiful bath like that. And then when I'm with my little spoon, I'm just going to cover. I'm going to put that on top. And that's what's going to get my fish poaching in there. And it's like a poached fish. And it doesn't take much because my fish is not very thick. And make sure, guys, I cover this baby up and now we're done with that. Okay, so now... I'm going to show you how we are going to plate this. So I'm going to take this other pan, uh, dish out of the way. I am going to turn this baby on the other side. And now I want to have my, my platter like so. I do have a few little things in here. Let me get that out of the way. So I'm just going to get my platter like that. That's how quick this is going to go. I have my coconut right there. And now I am going to bring my wonderful deliciousness right here. I did forget one little thing. 
I got these little guys. And then what I want to do is I want to get these right on here. Get yourself a powder. See what I'm doing, guys? This is, you know, for your health. Look at this. And by the time I am done doing this, my fish is going to be done. That's how quick it goes, guys. That's how quick it goes. So we're just going to have this to the side like that. And oh, wow. You should be here. Like I said, I always keep saying I wish there was smell -o vision But there is no smell -o vision So I'm just going to pile it up on here like so. Why not? You know, it's just like I said, my husband and I. And I'm telling you, this, you have to try this dish. It is so tasty. It is so yummy. And it's so healthy. Oh. Mmm. You know, you can really taste the cinnamon, you know, the coriander. You can taste, you can taste these marvelous flavors. Okay, I'm done with that. And now I am going to look at my fish. Get yourself a little spatula like so. Oh, I almost dropped that. <laughs> and my fish, oh yes. And my fish, it's almost done. It's almost done. Oh yes, as a matter of fact, it is finished. Oh yes, yeah. so now I'm going to take my fish like so, and I'm just going to place one over here like that. Oh yeah, baby, baby, baby. I'm going to take the other one like so. Oh, oh, and this delicious sauce, and this delicious sauce. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. So now I got my beautiful fish like so. Oh. I'm licking my fingers, I'm licking my fingers because you know what, I gotta lick my fingers with yourself a nice spoon like that. Now this is really thickening. This is thickening, now I'm gonna shut this off and now I am gonna come over here and I am just going to pour. See what I'm doing guys? Here, let me move this, let me move this guy out of the way so you guys can see better. Let me move him out of the way. So then I'm just gonna come over here, yes. And then I'm going to also drizzle some of this wonderful juice around my wonderful vegetables. Why not? Carry the same profile. And it's going to give that deliciousness of this wonderful, amazing coconut cream sauce. And look at the color. Look at that color, how beautiful that is. Oh, yes. Yes, baby, yes. Yes, baby, yes. And I just want to continue to do that with that. I want to put a little bit more over here. And then to top off this beautiful dish, let me clear this up so it looks even prettier. Because, you know, presentation, it's all about presentation. And then we take this wonderful, this wonderful coconut. Are you ready? Are you ready? And then we are just going to just kind of put it just like that. This toasted coconut. Oh, yes. I'm just going to put it over the fish. And then what I like to do is I like to serve the coconut on the side. So if you want some more coconut, you can. And what you have made, are you ready? What you have made is this amazing Jamaican salmon with cream sauce, with rice, cauliflower, spinach, and mushroom in this delicious cream coconut sauce. That's all I have for you. Look how beautiful. Aren't you hungry? Aren't you hungry? You know, guys, and this is for your health. This is for your health. I want to thank my wonderful sponsors, Cola Harris with Pharmacy. I want to thank my wonderful sponsor, Soul Angel, with these beautiful nails that she provides me with Color Street. I want to thank, of course, my wonderful uh, friend Dario from Life and Superstores for providing these beautiful mushrooms. And I want to thank my wonderful friend Stephen Bailey with Bailey's, um, with Bailey Fishing and Charter. If you want to go fishing, he's the man to contact. And I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.